Hello everyone, this is Melinda of Paul's Teeth Real Throw and today we're going to sh show some stones. Okay, I'm going to start off with this hammer stone. I have a little bit of water down here to uh, show it a little bit better but this does have the finger grips. This is a multi-tool. Hammer side grounding side and for all of these it has the finger grips for all of it for this for when they was I mean this is smooth and then um, for grounding you got your thumb groove right here and um, I just think this is a multi test this is made for my Jasper this is a uh, green orange um, Jasper. Okay. Uh, next up, uh, this is a tool. Also has your finger grooves. Sorry. <laughs> also has your finger grooves on there, and you worked, and you could, you know, like hold it like this, or or however um, they needed it to um, be a scraper, or whatever they used it for. Sorry about that, guys. Um, and then this one here. Let me get this in a little wet so you can see. This one here. Um, and and I know that they respected all life, you know, and sea life, whatever life. This has a, where a couple of shells were. Here was one. Here was another couple on there but they also use those as finger grooves you know to hold on to it you know to, to, to grind or whatever they needed it for you know I believe and then this you can see where their oils was from their hands and um, it was in a fire at one time you know partially and I believe that they use this for, for digging, you know, for when they were um, digging a hole for, for growing corn or whatever they used it for. And then um, and here's another um, shaving stone or whatever they wanted to use it for. It has uh, the nice finger grips on there. see where it's been worked and um, here's some hematite which um, they they use this where um, and I got some of them too that still you could you could um, use them as paint you know I have orange ones and red ones that it'll still just come right off and I'll show those in another video and um but here oh here's one get it a little bit wet where they used to um they would make a paste out of it you know and it, they may have even whatever they did to to do whatever they had to do you know they made tools out of out of out of mother earth and everything that mother earth offered and um I'm not too sure about, about this one, what they used it for, if it's a broke piece or what, maybe a scraper, but it was found right with the rest of the items um, that I found in that location, so I know, I know, I believe that, that it was something that they used. Um, and these, this is a... Um, a river cobble and I'm not too sure maybe a, a scraper or something but they have they had a whole lot of these that was right in the same area that um, I'm not too sure what they would have used them for but they were definitely river cobble 
of some kind because there's this inside and it's like all of them have some taken off of it you know there's a couple more down here I mean I don't have to show them all but they're all different sizes they may have even been game pieces I'm not sure here's a smaller one and then um, let me show you some sparklies here's um here's some crystal this is lighting is going to do it any justice but it sure is sparkly um, oh there's there you go and here's another piece of and this this you could tell it had been tumbled in the waters for a while Let's see if I can get this some justice man this is so sparkly Sparkle, I don't know. Maybe I get this one to sparkle. <laughs> okay, but here's another little piece. That side's not too sparkly. A couple pieces of it, but this side, I mean, I could see it sparkling, sparkling. I don't think I got the ver lighting right, and I adjusted this lighting a lot before um oh there we go maybe I don't know but um let me show you some sparkly rocks Let's see if this shows up Here's a piece of chert that, um, and I don't know exactly what they used it for or even if they used it, but I know it's got um, that, that groove there. And um, dog hair. <laughs> This chert, you could tell that this had been tumbled in the, in the water. I didn't tumble this or sand it down or anything. This, this was all done natural. So that's pretty cool. And, oh man, I hope this one sparkles, guys. Because this one's really, really sparkly. Maybe I shouldn't have got it wet. Let's see if that works any better. Oh, I'm not doing these stones very much justice, guys. Sorry about that. Here's some more shirt. And, um,. This was also found by the site that I found the other Native American stuff. And then another piece where you could tell that this one, this one was knocked off of a bigger piece. See the lines, the hit marks, strike marks. I fell back into the water and <laughs> wanted to get more wet. But, um, okay. Um, what next? Let's do this one. Get this one wet. 
I've got thousands of stones, guys. Thousands of pieces of Native American, not thousands of Native American stuff, but all of it together. There's just, I've got so much that I found that is so nice. And then this one's really shiny. Let me see. Maybe I got enough on my fingers. Let's get it lightly wet. Because this one sparkles big time too. And this was just a stone that um broke apart in the water or something. And got knocked off somehow. Let's see if we can see this stone. Here's the stone. Almost looks like um, Jasper. But then this is the inside of it. Okay, here's another piece of chert. This would have made some really nice pieces of a uh, um, like arrowheads and stuff like that. Okay, let me show you this little sparkly piece. I'll figure out how to do the lights and stuff a little better so that way you can see all these sparkly rocks because I got a bunch that I found that are just so sparkly. And I'm not kind of a sparkly kind of girl unless it comes from stones. <laughs> okay, now this one, this one's a little unique. Let me get that a little wet. This one, you can see the bands in it. Goes all the way around. There's some yellows in the bands. But um, it also has sea life in it. Yeah, these are a little tiny. Here's a a plate, a small death plate of them. That's, that's what they call them. I don't know why. This also, I think, has, um, along with that, uh, the Brozoans is, I, I believe, that this also, let me see if I can find it, right here has a trilobite on the back of it or wear one laid or something because it sure does look like it but that's pretty cool I really like this one and then let me get this a little wet check this out here's a big one and this bros Owen. This is in the family of it. They have a whole lot of different names for each one of them. And they're like really long names. This chick don't got that. <laughs> I don't have those kind of words up in my vocabulary. <laughs> but here's another one.
The cheese are really cool. Here's another one. Let me get it wet. And this one you could tell was shaped around something because it's got a different kind of shape to it where something like a rock or something was laying on top of it that shaped it in this form. And then here's another one. Get a little wet with my fingers. Okay, and then this is pretty neat. This one has a lot of different and I believe that that's a crinoid on here, right through here. Didn't mean to flip you all off there. That's pretty cool. And I think this is a crinoid head that got um, a little misshapen. But I believe that this is a crinoid head. I could be mistaken on every single one of these things. But this is my perception of it. <laughs> and then this has a lot of different kind of shells on it. And pieces. And then um, here's a piece of red jasper. Let me get it wet. Piece of red jasper. And then here's a piece of uh, uh, red and yellow jasper and on this one you could see the rings that's on it possibly maybe a little yeah okay Oh, here's a piece of, um, uh, it's real dark jasper. It's pretty cool. It's got the specks in there. And now, I would like, oh, here's one more thing. I don't want to get it too wet. But this is a piece of um, volcano, volcano um, rock, I believe. I mean, it, it could be a sponge. I'm not sure, but I, I do believe that that's a piece of um, uh, volcano stone. But um, I'm going to pause this a second to dry my hands up, then I'm going to get the tarot cards. Okay, first off, I'm going to use the Golden Tarot. And um, I just want to do a pull for everybody. I do have Nog Champa burning. It was burning too, the whole video.
I hope everybody's doing good, getting out and having fun, no matter the weather. Yeah, you gotta have a little fun, right? Looks like I'm due for another haircut. <laughs> okay, right there. All right, first card up is the Seven of Coins. And I will get his little story on this. Now the lights aren't set up for the cards, but that's okay. That is um, like sowing our, our seeds, planting our seeds. All right, then the Ace of Cups comes in. She's there to help us with um, whatever earthly needs, higher power needs that, that we have. She's there to answer the questions. And Five of Wands, we might have a little bickering going on. A little bickering never hurt anybody, as long as nobody really whacks anybody with those wands. <laughs> Ooh, then we got the sun. Yeah. That is a very good card. It shows a whole lot of enlightenment, new beginnings. Uh, I was going to take the top one, but I think I'm going to take the bottom one. The bottom one is the Nine of Wands. It looks like um, with the bickering that, that was going on that we may feel like we've gotten beat up. I'm going to take the next one after that, and that is the Fool. There we go. We're starting on a new adventure for Adventure Times. I love adventure times, getting out and doing things. I'm not going to look at the next card. I'm going to just take it off the bottom there. And then I'm going to go with uh, the Alice in Wonderland cards was calling me. So I'm going to use those. I'm going to do one more reach. Okay. We've got the um, glasses time. That's what we got. Okay. First card up is that we got investigate. All right, maybe we need to uh, look a little closer at something. Because maybe it might not be what it seems. And then we have the manage to be glad. Manage to be glad. You know, create your own happiness. You know, regardless of whatever the circumstances are. You know, whether if you're holding a skunk Are holding something that appears to be a skunk. But skunk and skunk magic, skunk through the Native American um, is like, hmm, like putting your scent out there, you know, or to attract whatever it is that you're wanting to um, catch. I'm going to move these lights just a little bit. And then we have the wake up card. You know, it's like this is your moment. You know what I mean? It's your time to shine. Mm -hmm. Just like that sun card. It's your time to shine, man. Doesn't matter what's going on. It's how we perceive it. You know, it's we let it drip down our back like like on the back of a duck how it just blows right off 
next card up we have choices you know do are we are we feeling blocked you know are we you know sometimes you just got to choose to um either sit in the sadness or not <laughs> you know all right and then law is not justice you know the rules you know sometimes doesn't feel like it's fair so you know sometimes the law isn't justice you know sometimes sometimes we just gotta let things go you know and and whatever happens in that if it's somebody else or if it's um no matter what it is, whether if it's um, a building that you work in, <laughs> it doesn't matter what it is. Sometimes we just got to let things go. We got we got to pick and choose. We also had another choices card. I remember hearing that, but I do want to see the bottom card. And that is, I want to be a queen. You know, um... Stating your your sovereignty, declaring freedom, you know, or passing the test. It just doesn't matter what it is, you know. <laughs> Look at that chess our cat, man. <laughs> oh, I always love that cat. Okay, I'm going to go with another one that's off the bottom. It says, follow the white rabbit, you know, curiosity might be just an opportunity that skunk could be a rabbit or a little bunny hmm but you know it is what it is whatever it is okay then the next cards I want to use is the Atlantis um, the angels of Atlantis Oracle cards Sometimes, you know, we just got to do whatever it is we got to do, you know, because whatever it is, it's it's our journey, you know, it just, it just is. And when we plant our gardens, whatever the seeds are, no matter where the seeds are, it doesn't have to be a vegetable garden or a flower garden. It could be just little drops of seeds where, where the, our words that we use, you know. We could fight with somebody if we want to. We could see the bright sun too and see the the nice, beautiful, bright light, you know. But whatever it is, we may, some of us may be starting a new journey in life, you know, leaving our worries behind, not worrying about the, the fighting and the bickering, you know, and, and knowing that we have the angels with us, helping us, or whatever you believe in yeah could be our past loved ones whatever you believe in okay right there first card up is Archangel Shamel with beginnings we got the path that she's taken it's, it's just glittering, just like them shiny rocks. And there it is, the fool, the beginner, the very first card in tarot. It's a new beginning, and there's another beginnings card. So a lot of us may be starting something new. Next card up is Metatron, Divine Intelligence. Look at that. That's just absolutely gorgeous. And then we have Jophiel on forgiveness. 
And sometimes we need to forgive others. And sometimes we just need to forgive ourselves for doing, saying, reacting. Sometimes we need to forgive others for what they've done or said, whatever the happening was. Because sometimes people that hurt us are, are sick, they're sick in their own way. And there's sometimes people had hurt them in, in, in their past, and then they hurt others, you know, because they don't know no other way. <laughs> Next card up is, is Zephyrical. Zephyrical. It, surrender. Look at that. And when we surrender and we bring light into our hearts, take a nice deep breath with an easy exhale. Sometimes we just need to surrender. I give. I give, man. Because sometimes we get tired of feeling like this. We want to feel like this. You now, some people might like to feel awful or awkward or whatever it is that they feel. But I like the light. I sure do. Not the top, the bottom. Intuition. Sometimes we just need to go with our gut. And whatever our gut feeling is, if we go with it, start a new beginning on doing such things, that type of behavior, with our choices, we can feel however we want to feel. All we got to do sometimes is wake up. Smell those flowers. Look in the mirror. See how beautiful you are. You know? Manage to be glad. Yeah. If you want to investigate whatever, whatever it is, investigate. And then when we surrender and show a little forgiveness, use our intu intuition and our divine and in, in, um, intelligence, we may start a new beginning. Okay, what's under the intuition? Balance. Balance. It brings us balance. Our little skunk medicine. <laughs> yeah. Be in balance. I'm going to, we're going to look at the next card underneath too. Compassion. Compassion. I think compassion and forgiveness goes one in one, hand in hand. Yeah. When we show a little compassion towards either somebody else or ourselves, maybe we could see the light a little better because a little bit of that stuff that's inside of our heads. Sometimes, for myself, 
Sometimes I just need to say, shut up, head. <laughs> I was telling my little sister that tonight. I was telling her, I said, man, sometimes I just got to say, shut up, head. You know, because sometimes my head just wants to tell me things, you know, that I want to hear. Not the stuff that my gut says that I should be doing or should have done. <laughs> so sometimes we just need to use our intuition, our gut, our gut feeling. And it'll bring us through all this stuff to balance our life out, to balance our mind out and our heart out. Yeah, I gotta look at that top card <laughs> from off of these same cards, these here. The Angels of Atlantis, I love these cards. Freedom, baby. It brings us to freedom. Yes. Yes. And the freedom is very, very similar to the full, the new beginnings. And we had a new beginnings card right here. Yeah. Freedom. <laughs> yeah. Well, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you did, maybe you guys can give a thumbs up. Tell me in the tell me in the comments what you think these things were. You know, if I got it wrong, let me know. <laughs> I am not I'm not saying that I'm right about anything. <laughs> I just try my best. I try my best. And if I get it wrong, I get it wrong. And if I get it right, that's cool too. <laughs> that's even better. But sometimes getting it wrong isn't wrong at all. It's just what we were supposed to go through. Just something, something. It's all good. Depends on how we look at it. I love you guys. Mwah! And you guys take care. And have a pleasant day, pleasant night, afternoon. Get out and about and have fun. Get out in nature, find you some stuff. Stay in your house, play a board game. Look at yourself in the mirror. Let you know that you're beautiful and that you're worth more than every penny in the world. <laughs> Any dollar in the world, because we're, we're life. We're life, yeah. And that's very healing, I think. And healing is a beautiful thing. You guys take care of yourselves. I love you very much. Take care. And I'm going to blow you another kiss. Mwah! And, and giving everybody a hug. You guys take care. Bye-bye now.